Darren and I ran cattle and farmed, gave it up to come here. I thought I was marrying a cowboy, not a fisherman. <laughs> a long ways in the middle of nowhere. It's a big change. Are you going to like it up here? <laughs> this is pretty far north. This fishing camp was a leap into the unknown. Came with a little store, 11 boats, five cabins. There is no way I'm going to learn what every one of these fish hooks is for. It takes cabins full and boats full to make payments all the time. We can't afford not to have this business run smooth. I guess we traded cattle for fish. Probably sanity for insanity, I suppose. It's cold. He said, I tripped on a rock. <laughs> I don't really have retail experience. We are way over budget on the cabin. Jennifer took it upon herself to book it before we even had it built, so. A little overwhelmed. My water pump hasn't shut down for a little while. I got a little leak there. We didn't vent the hot water heater. If you don't vent it, you kill people. Son of a dirty I can't find anybody to clean. They really want to work for a day or two, and then they lose interest. Sometimes I would like to be a little more strict. You don't want to your staff off either. I come down here for something and can't remember what the was. We're going to get right full and right hectic here. You worry about the boats, if the boats are all going to run. Give it a good rip, Dennis. About 13 seconds away from losing it. Are you kidding me? Sakes. We've been getting a lot of phone calls and emails. Ultimately, they want to catch big fish. A bad day out here is better than your best day at work. <laughs> you could feel there was something coming. June, first week of June here, we're having a nice little snowstorm. Uh, I don't give a shit what business you're in. It happens, man. Darren goes up to Chow Camp to see about a water pump. He comes back, and now they're going to have this fish off. Sakes. That pisses me off. So if we are not ready, too late. <laughs>